Hello, my awesome, fearless Virgos. I miss you guys. Virgo, I love you. Thank you for your beautiful letters, your beautiful energy, your wishes. I love you more than you realize. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, Virgo, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is that you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Virgo. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life, and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in their life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? I feel I need to shuffle more. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life. And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Virgo. This one wants to show up very strongly as extra message. Ah, what's going on with your soulmate? Your soulmate is not taking any action right now. They showing up as reverse king of wands. You view them as not taking action, not present in your life. Um, this person is very attracted to you, very drawn to you. You're not sure where this is standing at this time. Yeah, you see, this person, you, you let them go. At least for now, you see, because they didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate, yeah, didn't listen to your valid concerns, didn't communicate effectively, didn't make a commitment, didn't express emotions, yeah, you had no choice but to walk away from this situation. It's like there's something in you that feels unfinished, like there's something unresolved, yeah, you see, look at all these wants. This concerns me. There's three cards out of four cards. Three of them are with wands. And uh, nine of wands in love readings represents a person who is in and out, in and out of your life, not really working with you to make a commitment. Yeah, you see? All these wands, what is going on here? Um, this is you freeing yourself of toxic people. So there are people whether it's in your circle of friends, in the family, at work, uh, that will try to drag you into the self-created drama. Don't let them. Stay clear of people who instigate, who gossip. Yeah, don't let people drag you. Don't take sides. Stay neutral. Be very wise, Virgo. Don't let people drag you into their drama. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, if you try to help, it's really going to backfire in your face. And eventually some of them, because it shows like it's several people, uh, some of them will try to blame you for things that you didn't even do or say. So stay clear of people's drama. That's the best way to handle people's drama. Yeah, stay clear. That drama is in the life for them to learn something from. Yeah. You know, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in the life. And how is Virgo currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, I see you felt empty, not loved in this relationship. This person didn't show you love. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't make a commitment, didn't express love. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Be careful, Virgo, because there's somebody else in your close surroundings that is looking for a connection with you, but they it's another person. Uh, they want to, they're very attracted to you, Virgo, but they want to have something with you for nothing, meaning uh, like a fling, a fair, one night stand, that kind of disgusting energy. Yeah, people like that don't belong in your life. Yeah, Virgo, you are viewed by other people around you as very attractive, very alluring, very enigmatic. And you see snakes here and fake angels with fake smiles over here. Low vibration, promiscuous people around you. So stay away from troublemakers, yeah.
people who are of low vibration, who are promiscuous, who are looking for fierce flings, one night stands, they have a great need to learn self-love, self-respect. Once they learn self-love, self-respect, they won't be acting like this anymore. But as long as they like that, they don't belong in your life, Virgo. Yeah, so stay clear of toxic people. Yeah, this person that you let go of has very hard time expressing emotions, initiating communication, yeah, uh, admitting to their mistakes, apologizing. Yeah, they like to be alpha. They like to be in control. Mm. No, this is not good. You see, betrayal showing up here. So, no, no. This shows that this you had to release this person because they either betrayed your trust in a major way and you found out or are suspecting strongly. Whether it's a third party they had on their side or tried to drag you in as a third party and thought you would be okay with that. No, it's not okay. Yeah, you see, betrayal showing up here. It looks like this person is in some kind of connection with somebody else that they feel empty and they feel very unsatisfied, unhappy. So they have some kind of emotional baggage that they're holding on that they not finished with. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This is you trying to be very strong. You very much protecting your heart right now, Virgo. Yeah, you really cut them out of your life. You told them goodbye. You told them what time it is. Yeah, you were very honest, direct. You didn't sugarcoat. Yeah, you told them exactly how you feel. This person is not able to let you go, however. But this concerns me with the Knight of Wands, especially Reverse King of Wands. You see, this is betrayal, deceit. A lot of you are dealing with Aries, Leo, Virgo. Aries again, Gemini, but they could be any sign really. But those are the signs that are in Pisces that are popping up very strongly here. In a minute, we're going to ask about them directly. In other words, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life. What's coming up and how is Virgo doing? Oh my goodness. You're going to be uh, successful dealing with these toxic people who are trying or will try to drag you into their drama. Yeah, you see, it's going to cost you a lot of uh, ugh, emotional turmoil. Like, you, you're going to have to defend yourself, defend your good name, but you're going to be successful. This is victory after great emotional struggles. It shows me, though, that um, definitely some of the people in your life that you're in touch with are very toxic, yeah, chaotic. You know who they are. Yeah, you see, don't do other people's jobs. This is you putting too much on your shoulders. To you handling other people's responsibilities. So you have to be fair to yourself, Virgo. You cannot do other people's jobs. No, you can show them the way. You can advise them. But it's ultimately uh, their responsibility to handle the workload. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, you're going to stand up for yourself. Yeah, you see, you're going to have, uh, look at this. I just noticed something. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, look at this. You're showing up here as nine of wands, standing up for yourself courageously. Here's five of wands, instigators that will try to drag you in. And five of these ones are upside down. You see, you're going to stand up for yourself courageously, Virgo. Yeah, you're going to stand your ground. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, oof, yeah, toxic people do not belong in your life, Virgo. Yeah, you have to stay clear of toxicity. You know, please show us the soulmate of Virgo, the soulmate of Virgo that showed up as Emperor and Knight of Wands, the soulmate of Virgo. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo? And how is the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo? And how is the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? This one is trying to hide from me. There you go. They have a lot of drama in their life. And they're scared you're going to reject them when they come towards you. But this person is dealing with chaotic situations in their life. Chaos, drama from other people. <sighs> Be careful because... Uh, this person is used to toxic relationships. Um, yeah. 
commitment scares them, uh, not commitment itself, but failing in a commitment scares them. Yeah, this person is holding on to past uh, emotional trauma from unhealed past uh, relationships. Yeah, so we all have trauma, right? We all, we all go through emotional trauma, heartbreak when we uh, break up, right? But it looks like this person is deeply affected emotionally by their past that they haven't healed from, haven't released. And it's affecting their connection with you, how they communicate with you or don't communicate with you, how they express emotions or don't express emotions, how they make a commitment or don't make a commitment. Yeah. Yeah, I see. They, they have very strong attraction towards you, physical uh, attraction. But what concerns me again and again and again I see just wants, which means all this person can offer you at this time is just physical, intimate relationship without offering you love or making a commitment. Yeah. They really try to co completely forget you, not think of you, not miss you. But it didn't work. They have a lot of drama going on in their life. They need to figure out what they really want. From life and from you and where you fit in the life yeah they're not able to let you go yeah they're gonna be watching videos like this doing personal readings checking up on your social media if you have any yeah universe please show us um what's going on currently with the soulmate of virgo and how is the soulmate of virgo towards virgo at this time yeah, you see, they recognize clearly. So that's a good sign. They recognize very clearly why you had to let them go. They put so little time, effort, work, energy into this relationship and you put in so much more, you see? They didn't balance this energy. It became so unbalanced, you felt toxic and you had to let this situation go. Yeah, you see, this concerns me. This person is holding a want, 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 want. And this want is right on top of lovers. All they can offer you at this time is just physical, intimate connection. That's it. They cannot offer you love, which they feel, but they don't know how to express it or are scared to express it. And they cannot offer you a solid commitment. Yeah, you see? This person is so scared you're going to reject them. They recognize now, now that they lost you, Virgo, they recognize difference between you and other people that they were involved with. You see? This person is used to toxic relationships, toxic people. And your energy is not toxic, Virgo. Your energy is beautiful. They view you as marriage material. They respect you a lot, Virgo. Yeah, they do. They respect you a lot. They know you are a high-quality person and that you require a high-quality relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look how stressed out they are. My gosh. Seven of one showed up twice and ten of one showed up twice. This person has a lot of stress in their life. Yeah, they're waiting to see how to reach out to you without looking emotionally vulnerable like they need you. Uh, and this person is very scared of your rejection and judgment. They want you back so badly in their life. Nine of cups. They're so scared of commitment. Not so much commitment itself, but failing in a commitment yeah new connection is showing up for you with somebody else Virgo yeah somebody that you really walked away from this relationship uh, you gave this relationship numerous chances and it didn't work out because the other person couldn't meet you or didn't want to meet you halfway didn't put work into it like you did didn't communicate, express emotions. And here it shows that because you are releasing this situation, which takes time, so be patient with this process, Virgo. It takes time to heal emotionally, just like physically, right? Uh, when you completely release this situation with forgiveness, you'll be able to heal successfully and make space for positive new energy to reach you. New person, new soulmate, new connections, new friendships that you are deserving in your life, blessings in your life. Yeah. 
Yes, Virgo, you deserve to be happy and you cannot be happy with someone who is not communicating, expressing emotions or making a commitment. That's just not going to work, obviously, right? And it was to show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Virgo. Yeah, you are very closed off emotionally with your heart. Yeah, yeah, you are. You are very, and they're scared of your judgment and um, rejection. This person is trying to be brave enough, strong enough to approach you. Yeah, you see, you felt so empty, alone. The cups are empty here. You felt so empty, alone, unloved, unappreciated. <sighs> This shows two messages that the person that wants to come back to you that's still scared is loving you deeply, in love with you. But this also shows that you are meeting a new soulmate. Yeah, new soulmate entering your life. So remember, Virgo, you have free will to decide who you want, don't want, and what you want to do with them, right? We all have free will, right? Yeah. So you decide if you want the new a uh, person to enter your life as a friend, acquaintance, or stay your friend, or acquaintance, or be more than friends. Just make sure that you uh, first release the past before you begin something new with a new person. We're going to go into your extended reading and ask about both of them. The soulmate that wants to return to you and the soulmate that showed up as new entering your life. So first we're going to ask about the soulmate who wants to communicate with you. To clear the air, we're going to ask about the true long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you. What they have up their sleeve. Whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family members, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Virgo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.